hoy, he's Straw, he's Parker, and together we are the Battle Hammer. Meep, 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 meep. Um, obviously, there's no Straw and Parker at the moment because uh, we can't get together because of the COVID. Uh, so we're doing some solo games. Straw's put up some miniature stuff, um, and I'm going to be putting up some board game stuff because I don't necessarily have the space here to be able to uh, do uh, miniatures games. So, something that I've had for a little while, a legendary a Buffy the Vampire Slayer, because Buffy the Vampire Slayer is a legendary. Um, it's a deck building game um, based off the Marvel Legendary, I think was the first one. But there are other legendaries as well, um, including, I think, Firefly and Alien, although they're legendary encounters, which play slightly differently to this. Um, but the long story short is I have a little deck of cards, of which there are, I think, 12. Um, and I have to add more cards to my deck to make my deck more powerful so I can defeat villains and ultimately defeat the big bad, which is, in this case, the master. Although there are other big bads in the box. Um, so I'll just quickly go through what we've got here. Um, twists you won't really have to worry about. Um, scheme, that's effectively the thing that the bad guy is trying to do. Darkness falls, um, and he's going to make stuff happen here, um, which we will explain in a little while. Um, we've got some wounds up there, bystanders, you won't need to worry about them just yet. Um, strikes, which are a thing that will happen. The big bad is like the bad guy, in this case it's the master, I think there are about five or six in the box. Uh, that you can choose, and they all do slightly different things. Some of them are better in kind of combat, and some of them have got more uh, other things going on. Um, this is Sunnydale. This is where the villains will appear. This, this is the villain deck. They'll appear here, um, and uh, they'll move along and try and escape Sunnydale. But I have to kill them, um, which I'll explain how to do that in a minute. Uh, up here, we've got the light and dark track. Um, Light is good for me, uh, and dark is bad for me, generally speaking. Um, and certain cards, whether they be villain cards or my hero cards, will uh, advance the light or advance the dark. Um, this is the hero deck. Now, I am playing uh, a solo variant of the game, so it does play slightly differently. Normally, you'd have five different heroes in the hero deck. Um, we're going to be playing with three heroes. Um, and normally you would pick randomly, but I figured it's the first game. Let's go old school. Let's go OG. We've got Willow in here. We've got Zando in here, and we've got Buffy herself in here. Um, and I will be acquiring those cards as the game goes on. So we've got the original three against the Master. Uh, you know, I mean, you've got to start at the beginning, right? I'll probably play this a few more times on the channel, depending on what you guys think of it. Um, and there will be different um, big bads and different heroes I can put in there. So there's a lot of variability in how the game will play. Um, over here we've got potential slayers, um, which give you extra stuff. And this is my courage. These tokens over here, uh, I've got one at the moment, which is courage. And I can use that as a currency in the game. Um, this is the library where all the heroes are hanging out. Uh, this number in the bottom corner... Um, in this case it's a big seven for Xander. Sorry about the lighting, I don't have all the fancy lights because they're all at straws. Because that's where we do all the filming in the Battle Cave. There's a number there, it's number seven. Uh, that means it will cost me seven points. Best way to start is to start. So we start at the beginning. I will draw one, two, three, four, five, six cards. I have a twelve card deck. Um, and then we'll flip a villain. Oh, okay, so what have we got here? We have got a Vampire initiative, uh, Initiate, um, which is a henchman villain. Um, there's a little picture of Buffy and some vampires going, um, and they've got an ambush special rule, and I'll just double check what that means. I think it's when they come out. Um, ambush means they'll get a bystander, so they'll capture a bystander. Um, there's a little number here which you won't be able to read, uh, which is zero. Uh, that means I'll get zero victory points for defeating this card. And it's got a fight of three. Can you see any of that? There we go. So, that's what the card is. Little picture. Ambush, capture a bystander. Uh, three damage, which is the three claw marks. And then over here somewhere, oh, no, over there, 
zero victory points. That's a villain card. So it captures a bystander, ambushes. Now we've got these bystanders. Um, uh, in this case, we've got Buffy's mum, Joyce. Oh, bless her. Uh, so it says, uh, advance the light. So when I rescue her, I can advance the light. And this little number here is how many victory points I get if I capture her, or not capture, um, rescue her. So she goes under the vampire initiates because they have captured her. If they get off, then that's bad news for me. If I can capture them, that's good news for me. So, do that, do that, do that. Right, so I've got my six cards. Um, at the moment, I've got some initiative soldiers, which give me doo -doo -doo, one damage. And I've got some watchers, which uh, get me one recruitment point which is how I can buy these cards down here. They've also got a little symbol up here. In this case, this is the Watcher symbol and this is the Initiative symbol. Um, some of the cards say, like, if you play this first, then that happens. But um, in this case, I've got a really simple starting deck of cards. So I've got one Watcher, two Watchers, one Initiative Soldier, three Watchers, two Initiative Soldiers, four Watchers. So I've got four recruitment points and two points of damage. So two points of damage, I won't be able to attack the Vampire Initiates this turn because I don't have three damage, I've only got two. So that effectively get wasted, so I'll discard those. That leaves me with four Watcher points. Now I can spend this coin cost in the bottom of these cards. I'll show you one um, that I'm going to get. Let's do, do, do. Okay, let's buy this one, which is um, Librum Incendiare. So at the top tells you what the card is and who the hero is. Um, we've got an S, which is Scooby, and a covert uh, symbol. Um, so if I use this card, and I'll get those symbols, which might unlock stuff. We've got here, if it's dark, set the light to one. Scooby, so if I've played a Scooby card already, then I get that extra bonus. It does two damage, potentially more, depending on um, how much uh, Scooby stuff I get. And it costs me four. I've got four, cost me four. I bought the card, put it in my discard pile, ready to cycle through like any other deck building game. Um, so my watchers will get discarded. We draw a new hero card from the hero deck. We have Prophecy Girl, Buffy Summers. Um, I'm learning, still learning how to do that, get a better angle and lighting and stuff, so there is a bit of shine. The thing is, I want lots of light so you can see. Also, I don't want shine on the cards, which is really difficult because the cards are shiny. Um, I guess we'll just have to do what we do for now. Um, this is a learning process. Um, I don't have the Battle Cave set up to be able to get all the fancy lights and, you know, drop down cameras and weird stuff. So I'm just doing what I can at the moment. Wish me luck. So that was my go, end of my go. I draw one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Well, I've drawn my six cards. Run out of cards to draw, so I will shuffle my um, new deck. Which I think only happens when I draw, so I'm gonna leave those there. Uh, start of a new turn. So the um, we draw a villain card. See what it is. Now this is a scheme twist. Just says scheme twist on it. So instead of playing it along Sunnydale, um, I do whatever the twist does. So the twist says on this scheme because it's a scheme twist. Trigger the dark effect on the big bad. Well, the master. Um, says his dark effect is play a villain from the villain deck. So the twist goes there, um, which is one level closer to losing the game, and I draw a villain. It's another scheme twist, so we'll put that there, and we know that it's draw a villain. It's another scheme twist. Now this is a tricky thing because um, I could lose the game without doing very much here. Draw another one. I assure you I've shuffled these cards. That's four. And then we keep drawing. Five. Yep. Wicked. This is going to be like that, isn't it? Yep. Keep going. And I've probably lost the game already. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've lost, so I'm going to just start again. Uh, I'm going to cheat completely and reshuffle this deck. Now, the problem I've found with this game in solo mode is you get a different amount of bad guy cards and stuff. Um, so, stuff like that can happen, which normally wouldn't happen in the main game when you're playing with two or more players because you're going to have more cards in the villain deck. Um, I can assure you I shuffled these wonderfully at the start of the game, or at least I thought I did. Obviously I was wrong. But then when you've got like half the cards are scheme twists and half of them are villains, it kind of does make it pretty quick. So we're just gonna just gonna do this. There we go. So I'm gonna draw a card because uh, we're drawing a card at the start of my second turn. Now, okay, so we've got an actual villain dude. So they push along Joyce and the Vampire Initiates to Sunnydale High, and the three come out of the Hellmouth. They are the Order of Aurelius villains. And they've got three damage, and they get plus one damage equal to the dark. The dark is one, so you get plus one damage, it puts them on four. So my go. We've got Watcher, 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 Watcher. That's four Watchers and two Initiate Soldiers. So two is not equal to three, so I can't use them for beating up anyone. Four means I can buy something worth four or two things worth two. Um, I'm going to take Prophecy Girl, Buffy Summers. And Prophecy Girl, Prophecy Summers, because they're both two, so that's four recruitment points worth of stuff. They're going to go into my discard card pile. Now I've got no cards left, so I have to shuffle and redraw six cards. Sorry about the cheating earlier on, but you know, I want to give you more than three minutes worth of game. Draw one, two, three, four, five, six cards. We'll put out some new heroes. We've got a glorified bricklayer, which is a Xander Harris card, and we've got another prophecy girl. Okay, so start the round. I will draw a villain card. Oh, we've got another section of the three. There we go. So they get equal to the dark, and we've got three damage plus one damage is four damage. Yeesh, let's see what we can do. Okay, so we've got some different cards now. Um, so I, it matters the order in which you play them, okay? So I'm going to start by playing this Prophecy Girl. And it gives me two damage. And it says I may activate dark abilities on cards you play this turn, even while it is light. So if I've got any light things, then I can do light things, okay? Um, also, it says if I've played a, whatever this symbol is, a instinct hero. Oh, there we go. If I've played that, which is this symbol up here, if I've played it already, then I can draw a card. But I haven't played it. Boo, so I can't draw a card. Because that's the one I'd had to have played it beforehand. However, I can play another Prophecy Girl, which is the other one that I had. You can see that there. It's the same card. Now I have played one of those instinct heroes already. So now I get the two damage and I get to draw a card, which is good because more cards, cycling through your deck more, is good. Uh, then I'm going to play Librum Incendre, uh, which is, if it's dark, set the light to one. So it's dark. Set a light to one, so it's now light one, which is good. Uh, and if I've played a Scooby card, I get damage equal to the light, but I can't play a Scooby card um, because I haven't played one. Because I've, she's a Slayer who's an Instinct Hero. She isn't a Scooby in this particular card. Although I think other Buffy ones that are Scoobies, you just have to be aware of what the symbols in the top corner are. So that puts me on six damage so far. Nice. Then I've got two initiative soldiers, so that's six, 
Oh no, yep, yeah, six, seven, eight damage. Oof. Um, and then I've got two watchers, which are going to be worth two recruitment points. Well, now I can do eight damage. Well, let's go with. We'll do three damage to attack this vampire initiate, so we kill them. And because I've got Joyce Summers now, I advance the light, which is good. Um, so we've got her and him. They're now like cards over one, if you like. Now, that leaves me with. Um, Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Minus three is five. Um, I'm going to use three of those five to attack the three here. So they've got a fight of three. They get plus uh, damage equal to the dark, but I'm not in the dark, I'm in the light. So they've only got three damage. So that means I can kill this section of the three. Um, when I fight, um, I advance the light if I beat them in Sunnydale High. So I get to beat them, and I advance the light to three. If I flip over, it gives me another point of courage, um, which means I can spend that to do things, which is good. Bec which I might do... I think I'm going to... Oh, no. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So I've got two recruitment points. I could buy this Prophecy Girl, um, which is quite good. But I need some more recruitment points because all of my cards that I've bought are damage ones. So I'm actually going to spend this point of courage to give me three. Um, so that's spent, and that's going to give me this donut run Xander Harris card, which is recruitment, good, uh, and I can advance the light. And if I've played another um, matching card, then I get extra recruitment. So that's good. So we'll put that in our discard pile, flip a new hero. And then I draw six more cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, start of a new turn. We will draw a villain. Oh, it's a scheme twist. We don't like these. Will I get eight scheme twists in a row and then lose the game immediately? Let's find out. Um, Scheme Twist says, trigger the dark effect on the big bad. The big bad dark effect is play a villain from the villain deck. Yikes. Oh, okay. So we've got a Billy Ford Fordham, who's a bystander. I don't know if you remember him. He was the one who wasn't very well, and he tried to get himself made into a vampire. Um, and he hung around underground in that basement and got them all locked in there, including Chanterelle. Do you remember her? I'm sure that's a mushroom, but that was her name. And then she came back into it later on. She was cool. Um, so when I get him, I have to advance the dark. Boo. But he's a bystander, so he actually goes under this first villain here. Okay. Now it's my go. Well, what have I got? One, two, three, four watchers. That gives me four recruitment points. And then two initiative soldiers. That gives me two combat points. Well, the two combat points aren't enough to defeat the three. Wah. So they'll go away. <coughs> and then I've got four um, recruitment points. Wellity, wellity, wellity. Let's go with... Let's go with this... Uh, Spend three points on a Slayer activation spell, which is Willow's one of Willow's cards. It costs three, which is bottom down here. It gives me one recruitment point. Um, I get to draw a card, and then I discard a card or advance the dark. Now I don't want to advance the dark, so really it, it gives me a problem to decide. Um, and if I've played a magic card, which are these little this little blue symbol here, then I can uh, get an extra recruitment point. But it does mean I can cycle through my deck a bit quicker, which is good. Um, meaning I can more likely to be able to get to the good cards. Um, so that will get discarded there. Um, you don't get to use them straight away, you have to put them into your deck, seed them into your deck and then shuffle them and bring them out. Uh, and then we'll get a new hero card. I owe you pain! We like that. that. One, two. Now we're shuffling back in again. 
What will we get? Three, four, five, six cards. Okay, new turn. Draw a card from the villain deck. It is Luke, the villain from the Order of Aurelius. You remember him, right? Um, when I fight him, each player discards a random card. That's sad. Um, so he goes in there and he's got a combat of six, but he does give me two VPs at the end of the game, so that's fun. Okie dokie. So it's my go. What have we got? Oh no. I've got a handful of chaff. Which are these grey cards? One, two, three, four, five watchers. That gives me five points to spend. Mm. Mm. And then one point of damage. Now one point of damage. Can't really do anything with that. The three are on three points of damage, surprisingly. And Luke's on six, so no way I'm touching him. So we'll just discard that straight away, and I've got five. Now, um, they're all damage cards, none of them are recruitment cards. So I think I'm going to make sure that I'm being efficient, and this one costs five. Mm, so does this one, but this one allows me to draw more cards. So I'm going to play this glorified bricklayer Xander Harris card. So that costs me five. Uh, there we go, it's a Scooby card, and it's a Knowledge hard. Um, it allows me to draw a card, does two damage, and if I've played a Scooby I can advance the light, which is quite good. Uh, so we'll replace that, and then I will draw one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Uh, if this deck runs out, I lose the game. Um, if, I think that's it. But obviously if I can't beat the big bad guy, then I can't win. Um, I need seven at the moment to beat him, but he's always got plus damage equal to the dark. Um, so instead of attacking one of these guys up here, you can attack the master and then that will give you stuff. So, uh, oh god, I've got to play a villain card. It's a scheme twist. Scheme twist is, as we know from the big bad, play a villain card. Okay, we've got Luke again. Oh dear. He's not a nice bloke at all, is he? No, he is not. Okay, so what have we got here now? I might as well play my... Um, oh no, let's do this. So we will play the Slayer Activation spell. Uh, it gives me one recruitment point, and I draw a card, and I discard a card, or advance the dark. Now I can look at my cards and see what I've got. Now I've got almost entirely... Um, hmm. I'm going to discard an initiative soldier. Okay, so I don't have to advance the dark, which is good. Um, I didn't play a thing, so I don't get plus one. So at the moment I've only got one recruitment point, which isn't very much. But if I play a watcher, it gives me another one recruitment point to buy stuff with. Um, okay, so we will then play Prophecy Girl. Um, she does two damage. Uh, if, I've, if I'd have played a previous one of these, I could have drawn a card, but I can't. No! However, I do have another one, so it gives me another two damage, and that uh, allows me to draw a card because I'd played the matching symbol already. So we'll draw another card. Oh, excellent! Uh, then we're going to play um, Librum Incendre. If it is dark, set the light to one. It's light, so I don't need to change that. If I've already played a Scooby, I get damage equal to the light. Well, I played a Scooby earlier on, so that means I'm going to get plus three damage. So I'm going to run two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. Oof! Oh, wellity, wellity, wellity. I think I'm going to go for the big bad. Because 11 is going to be fine and dandy, dandy and fine. So when I'm fighting the big bad, um, I do the 7 damage. He would be on more, but he's not in the dark at the moment. Um, 
so I take one of these tactics because I've fought him once and beaten him once. Um, so I get four victory points. And I advance the lights twice. So I go one, two. Um, when I go over the top, I gain a courage. Yay! Uh, and it says defeat a villain with victory points equal to or less than the light. Well, unfortunately, the light is now at two. This guy's on three, these are on six, so I don't get to beat an extra bad guy. Wow! But that cost me seven of my eleven points. So it still means I've got three left. Oof. Sorry, no, four points left. So I'm going to defeat the three here. Um, because it only cost me three. So they get defeated. Unfortunately, Billy Ford Fordham's bystander rule is advance the dark, so I put it downwards to light one. And that's my turn. Oh, good turn. So as you can see, this game is all about, if you've played any deck builders before, it's all about building your decks, getting new cards into your decks, cycling through combos and all that kind of stuff. Um, I would really like to play this with more than just me. I haven't yet. Um, just because I'm sad and lonely and Straw doesn't like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, I think I probably will get some friends to have a play of this at some point in the near to distant future. Or at least when it's all over and we're back in the world. Hang on a minute, I just remembered I had two points, didn't I? Yes, so I'm going to buy this two card Prophecy Girl. Two points for my two watches that I had, because I forgot about those. And she gets shuffled back in here because I'm drawing some more cards. And generally speaking, the more the recruitment points, the higher the recruitment cost, the more powerful the card, generally speaking. So three, four, five, six. New turn. Let's draw from the villain deck and... Oh, it's Dala. We like Dala. Yes, we do. Uh, she's got Ambush. Advance the dark once for each order of Aurelius Villian in Sunnydale. Oh, no. That's not good. So she shuffles along. And we've got two order of Aurelius um, villains in Sunnydale. So we advance the dark twice. One, two. Oh, no. We're in the badness. Uh, now this is going to change certain things. Some things will be only available during dark. Some things are only available during light. Um, mm. Let's see what we can do. So, what have I got? Have I got a handful of crap? Um, um, I don't know, really. Well, I guess I'm buying a card this turn. So we'll play Prophecy Gale to begin with. Um, it's got two damage. I can activate dark abilities on cards even when it's light, but I don't have any dark abilities at the moment. Um, I could draw a card if I'd have already played one uh, matching card, but I can't. Uh, then we'll play Donut Run, which gives me two uh, recruitment points, and I can advance the light. And I've got another... One, two, three, four recruitment points. That gives me six recruitment points. Oof. Well, I could get... Let's go big and take this five. Death is your gift. Um, Buffy Summers using that knife, I think, um, Faith stole. Um, now, it's a dark ability. I get one damage for each villain in Sunnydale, which is pretty good. Um, and that would combo really well with my Prophecy Girl one, because even if I was in the light, um, I could still use that if I comboed those up. Um, so it's only two damage, but it could be really good. Um, so we'll end up discarding that. So that costs five. Um, I can't do enough damage to hurt anyone, so we'll discard those as well. Flip a new hero. Hurricane Buffy. Um, and then I'll draw six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and all six. And then we draw a villain from the villain deck. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's a scheme twist. 
um, because uh, the scheme says trigger the dark effect. The dark effect is play a villain from the villain deck. It's a vampire initiate. Capture a bystander. So I have to draw another bystander. And it's Herbert the Pig. Oh, remember Herbert the Pig? I think he got eaten by the hyena people, didn't he? Yeah, do you remember that? The pack episode? Mm, and they were all laughing hyena dudes. Uh, and then if I can rescue him, I gain a courage token. That's nice. Okay, okay. So now it's my go. I'm really going to have to start beating these dudes because if villains escape, bad stuff happens. I can't remember what, but it does. I'm going to find out. Um, Do I'll find out. Hopefully I won't have to. Let's see what I've got, what have I got, what have I got. Mm. Okay, let's play Glorified Bricklayer with Xander Harris. Um, two points of damage and I can draw a card. Um, if I'd played a Scooby, I could advance the light, but I can't. So we'll draw a card. Then um, we will play Prophecy Girl. Um, I can activate dark abilities on cards I play even when it's light. Um, two damage. I uh, would draw a card if I play one similar. However, I can now because I'll play that same card again. Um, I've already played an Instinct Hero, so that means I can draw a card. Okay, well, let's play Slayer Activation Spell. Um, I get one recruitment cost and I can draw a card. Um, importantly, uh, the Scooby symbol I have here doesn't now combo with this Advance the Light. You have to do them in order. And that's when you can uh, get your effects off. Um, so I can draw a card. That's another one of him. So, what have I got? Two, four, six damage. That'll be enough to beat... Luke. So I think we will do that. Yes. I will do that. Let's do that. So then we play. Um, an initiative soldier and an initiative soldier. That gives me two, four, six, eight damage. And then I'll play all three of my watchers. Um, so that'll give me one, two, three, four cards worth of um, buying recruitment. So we'll do recruitment first. Um, this one happens to be four, and I've got four, so let's buy her. Um, Hurricane Buffy goes in my discard pile. Um, and we get a new card. Then I've got two, four, six, eight. Okay, so I'm going to spend three of those to beat up this va vampire initiate. Um, so he'll get defeated, um, which means I rescue Hubbard the pig. Yay for Herbert! Uh, and I gain a courage token. Woohoo! Um, I have got two, four, six, seven, eight. I spent three, it leaves me five. Oh no, he got six to beat. No, I'm going to spend the five to beat up Dala. And because I'm doing it in Sunnydale High, I get to advance the light. Excellent. Now these spaces stay empty and they'll just fill up. So that means I've got now two turns kind of free, if you like, to focus on beating up Luke. And I've got a couple of courage points. Yay. Um, and that's me da -da -da done. So I'll discard all my cards. Once you get the hang of it, it cycles through pretty quickly. It's just knowing what all the cards do. Um, then I draw six. One, two, three, four. Come on, baby. Say you love me. Five, six, seven times. The only problem I found playing it solo, and I don't know if this is the same when you play it with multiple people, um, is... 
you cycle through the villain deck pretty quick um, and I would like to really boost my deck up and have a big uber deck by the end of the game. Um, four, five, six. Um, you don't really have the time to really you know, build your deck up as much as you'd like. So it's my go. Um, let's get a villain. Oh, it's the three. The three get damage equal to the dark. Well, fortunately, we're in light. <coughs> and this is where um, certain heroes do certain things. Xander's very good at advancing the light. Um, and Willow, uh, often her abilities cost discards or advance the dark. Um, so they actually combo quite well together and then you get to balance this thing. But if you were playing, for example, Willow plus Faith, who also advances the dark to do damage and stuff like that, then you really could be going through to the big bad uh, dark effects. Um, and that would be not good. So, what do we have here? Well, that's rubbish combos. Doesn't really matter what order I do these in, so we will play Initiative Soldier, Initiative Soldier, uh, Watcher, um, plus two damage from Librum Incendre. Um, if it's dark, set the light to one, the light is already one. And if I'd played a Scooby card, I'd get damage equal to the light. I can't do that. Uh, one point damage for an Initiative Soldier, and then two for Death is Your Gift. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, because it's light, the big band's actually on seven at the moment instead of the plus he would be on. So I'm going to go and judo chop him. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll draw a random one from the bottom. Fruit Punch Mouth, big bad tactic, the master. Advance the light twice. Draw cards equal to the light. Well, that's cool. Advance the light twice. One, two. And I can draw cards equal to the light. Nice. One, two, three. No, that's the wrong deck I'm drawing from. One, two, three. Um, well, that's probably kind of handy. Let's play, because uh, I haven't finished my go, you can you can fight a bit, you can recruit a bit, and if it allows you to draw more cards, you can play those cards. Um, so I can draw a card because of that. And then discard a card or advance the dark. I think I'm going to... Discard a card, so we'll discard a watcher. Uh, then we'll play Hurricane Buffy and um, draw a card. If it's dark, I can disc I can KO a card. Well, it's not dark, so I can't KO a card. Carrying a card means you remove it from your deck, which might sound like why do I want to get rid of cards? But if you've got these watchers and initiative soldiers that are only worth one point, um, and you've already bought a bunch of better cards, um, it can help you cycle through your deck better. I can't remember what they call it. There's a special word for it. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, sifting or um, cycling or stripping, I don't remember. Anyway, play another two watchers. So I'm on one, two, three, four, five, six recruitment points. Wellity, wellity, wellity. You know what? Zana Harris has got latent soldier know how. I think, because that's worth seven, I've got six points to spend. I'm going to spend a point of courage to give me seven points and buy that card. Uh, now, it's, it costs seven, which is quite expensive, obviously. Only does three damage. However, the special rule is, if the light is three, defeat a villain. And if you get two Scoobies, you get to recruit th uh, three bystanders, which is really good. Um, now, bear in mind, villains are these guys. The master is a big bad. He doesn't count as a villain, so you can't automatically defeat a big bad with that card, but I'm okay with that, because I want it. Uh, and that's my turn, over and out. Not bad at all. Uh, so we'll draw six cards. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh, here we go. Let's flip a villain card. Oh, it's the anointed one. That annoying little child who got his skeleton busted up with a sledgehammer. Start of season two. Remember that? Huh? Um, was it start of season two or start of season three? Mm, no, start of season two, I think. Uh, Ambush, advance the dark, so I have to advance the dark. When I fight him, he does the same effect. And if he escapes, he does the same effect. So when I fight him, he's going to advance the dark. Yikes. Alright, so let's see what cards we've got. Have we got anything good? Potentially. Let's play Prophecy Girl. Um, but I can activate dark abilities, even when it's light. Well, I don't have to worry about that at the moment too much. Um, doesn't get me anything. However, fortunately, I've got another one. Woot woot. That means I can draw a card. Yay. And that gives me uh, one initiative soldier, uh, one, two, three, four watchers. That gives me four points, so let's buy Libra Incendiary. Put that there, because that costs four. I'm trying to be as efficient as possible, because efficiency is good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five points of damage. Now I could have a go at the anointed one, but he's going to advance the dark. Could spend a point and beat up Luke. That might be good. But I want to save that point so I can beat the big bad again. So I'm going to fight um, the three. Um, they've got three points of damage plus equal to the dark. The dark isn't effective, so that's just three damage. So we defeat the three, and because I'm defeating them in Sunnydale High, I can advance the light. Bloop. And then I'll waste those other two points because I won't be able to do anything with them. End of my go. Draw a turn again, so that's another three cards. Um, do let me know. I'm trying to be as communicative as possible about what I'm doing and why. Um, obviously, you probably can't read any of the cards particularly well. Um, I will try and get a better camera view if I can. I don't know how, um, but I will try. Um, but let me know if you've got any advice. If you watch a lot of other board game people and you say, hey, be more like them. Um, am I chatting too much? Am I chatting not enough? I worry that you know you don't want to leave any dead space. You know you don't want to leave any dead air where you're just not talking. Um, I've been watching um, because of the lockdown. It's been called. Oh, that's going to bother me now. Uh, Daily Kitchen Live on weekday mornings, 10 a.m. on BBC One. Not that we're sponsored or anything, but you know. Um, and you can tell it's a little bit haphazard. They don't necessarily have the full range of people there and there's a lady on there called Jack and she's really good but you know she's not necessarily a um, TV experienced person so sometimes they go a bit quiet which is fine but then you, you really notice it you know um, which you probably wouldn't in a conversation with a person but suddenly you go wow the TV's gone quiet that's weird I think it's the same sort of thing with this one, two, three, four, five, six. So I do worry about those little quiet moments. I will have a little sip of my drink. Um, and then it's my go again. Oh, here we go. Draw a villain card. Now we know we've got a lot of scheme twists there. Vampire initiate. Um, ambush capture a bystander. Oh, Clem. Oh, we like Clem. Clem's a dude. Um, reveal the top two cards of your deck, KO one and discard the other when I rescue him. Hmm. Well, my go. What do I want to do? Okay. Aha ha ha ha! This is potentially super good. Let me see if I can do this in the best possible way. We will play Donut Run, Xander Harris. Two recruitment points, advance the light. Whoosh, goes off the top, back down one, I get a point of courage. Mm, nice. 
Um, if I'd have played a covert one, I'd get an extra recruitment point, but it is what it is. Uh, then we will play Glorified Bricklayer. Two damage, get to draw a card. Yay! That's nice. Um, and Scooby, which I've played there, um, means I can advance the light, so the light goes up again. Oh, this is good. Um, then we will play... Um, Libram Incendiary. If it is dark, set the light to one. It's not, so I won't. Um, if I've scoobied it up, I get damage equal to the light. Well, I did scooby it up before, so that gives me an extra two damage. So I push one, two, four, six damage so far. Ooh. Then we will play Prophecy Girl. I may activate dark abilities on cards I play this turn, even while it's light. Well, that's handy, because I'm going to play Death is Your Gift, uh, which is a dark ability. It gives me plus one damage for each villain in Sunnydale, so it gives me two, three, four, five, six damages just from that one card. Wood, wood! Uh, then we'll play a little initiative soldier and a watcher there. Um, well, I've got three points. Let's take hmm, decisions, decisions. Let's take I owe you pain. That's my recruitment points spent. Oh, we got the Slave Master General. Oof, that's good. Now we're on two, um, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 from all of my uber combos. Well, that's super handy. So I'm going to spend 7, because I'm in the light, to defeat the master once. <gasps> Advance the light three times. Each other player discards a random card. So, 1, 2, 3. That gets me a point of courage. That's good. Um, each other player discards a random card. That cost me seven. Now I had 15, didn't I? Mm. I mean, I could have fact, let's attack the master again, right? I'll double check that I can do that because I don't want to not be able to do it. Um. Do, do. Do do do. Do do do. I have to defeat the big bad four times. So this is it. It gives me seven points. Um, I've got. I had fifteen. I spent seven to beat Master once. I think I can beat him again. I'm going to double check that I can beat him twice in one go. Because I don't want to do that and then not be able to do it. You can fight the big bad multiple times in one turn. So I'm going to fight him again. Do, 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 do. The Harvest. Advance the light three times. Rescue, by, rescue bystanders equal to the light. One, two, three. So I get another point of courage. And I get to rescue two bystanders. One, two. We've got Joyce again. And we've got everyone's favourite, Dawn Summers. The most popular Buffy the Vampire Slayer character, right? Bless her. You know, I do think she got a lot of flack, but I think that was writing. Like when she got all steely and stuff, that wasn't cool. But then, I mean, it must be must mess your head up if you're Dawn Summers. You realise that actually, a you're not real. B your sister's like the most powerful being in the forever. Um, you know, it's. Uh, a whole thing. Um, although in the comics she ended up with Xander. Mm, there you go. And she became a centaur for a little while in the comics. Yeah, that was weird. Um, go and check the comics out if you haven't. They're really odd. So I've beaten the big bad four times. So that means that I do do do. I win the game. 
So I've successfully defeated the Master, the Order of Aurelius, and his Vampire Initiate henchmen. I will admit I did cheat right at the start, but that was like turn one, and I would have instantly lost the game, so I think that's fair. That's just random stuff. So now I've won the game, and add up my victory points, and I work out how well I did. So these are my victory points. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, uh, twenty-five. 26, 27, 27 minus 3 for each scheme twist, so 27, um, yikes, minus 2 is minus 6, it gives me 21, this gives me uh, 18 points of win, I've succeeded in defeating legendary Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So I am going to pack this up. As you can see, so the game goes through pretty quickly one way or the other because there are less villains um, and uh, less players. And if you can defeat the master or whoever the big bad is, then that's the thing as well. Um, so this was the, I guess, canonically, this is what you would start with. You've got Willow, Buffy and Xander as your heroes. The master with his Order of Aurelius and some just generic vamps as the... Um, bad guys. Um, the scheme I picked that one just because it was the easiest one to play. Some of them require adding different things into the deck and all this kind of stuff and working out card points and whatnot. Um, so I'll worry about that next. Um, but it does recommend that you play randomly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pack up uh, and in the next game that I'll put up on, on the thing, in the next video, I'll do one more of this before I decide if I want to do any more after that and see what your response is. Um, I'm going to ro roll randomly. I've got some dice. Um, so I'll roll randomly at the start of the next video and work out um, who I'm going to be using and who I'm going to be playing against. Um, thank you for watching. Just a quick one, really. Um, try to get ourselves back on the proverbial horse when it comes to this whole lockdown whatnot. Um, we really appreciate you still subscribing. Um, things are obviously difficult because we are, you know, normally we'd be filming in the Battle Cave. I know Straw's doing his own kind of filming, which is really cool because he's obviously the Battle Cave is at his house, so he's got all the terrain and the boards and everything else. Whereas I don't, so I'm going to have to be doing um, board games for a little while and then we'll see where we go. Might do some painting videos, I don't know. Um, I'm no master painter, so I don't really imagine that people need to see my painted stuff. Uh, besides, I take too long anyway. Um, but we are going to try and keep doing stuff during lockdown. Um, if you want to help out, there's stuff in the doobly-doo down below. There's Patreon links and stuff like that. We'd really appreciate it if you thought about it. But obviously, with things the way they are at the moment, money's getting tight. You know, um, Some people just won't be getting paid, so completely understand if you can't do that. Um, but there is one, well, there's just two things you can do if you really want to help out the channel. We, we'd really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it and want to subscribe. If you don't like it and don't want to subscribe, you don't have to like and subscribe. But we would like it if you liked and subscribed. And until next time, stay hammered. Do, 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 do